Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be pulling weekly messages for the elements of fire and water. That is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries for the fire signs and Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio for the water signs. The messages that I put forth are not going to resonate with everyone. I ask that you take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications whenever I post. These messages will be for December 20th through December 26th. So let's jump right into it and see what messages Spirit has for you. First, I'm going to start out with Leo. The timestamps will be below. So Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo? Weekly messages for the sign of Leo. I have the Seven of Pentacles. I have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, I have the Nine of Cups, I have the Four of Cups, I have the Seven of Swords, I have the Five of Cups, and I have the Five of Wands. I feel like this week some of you may be thinking about walking away from a situation. I feel like this could be in terms of a relationship or this could be in terms of a business partnership. But you are really doing a lot of reflection. That is what I'm getting from the Seven of Pentacles. Because you're not seeing the success that you want out of the situation. Like you're not getting what you want with this person or with this partnership and it's like you're going to be choosing to go into a new direction that is going to bring the fulfillment that you desire so for some of you you may be turning down an offer this week whether this is an offer in terms of a relationship or an offer in terms of your career i heard a promotion so maybe you will be turning down a promotion in order to go into a new direction that is going to make you happy i feel like with the seven of swords spirit says like you don't trust the situation like you feel like Someone is trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Someone is trying to get away with something. And I heard like with this five of cups, I heard like avoiding. It's like you're avoiding a situation where you are going to be experiencing some type of lack, some type of disappointment because your intuition is right on this week, Leo. So yes, there is someone who is hiding something from you. They are being deceptive and spirit is saying like avoiding a disaster. So you are avoiding a situation that is going to leave you being disappointed. And by you walking away, there may be some type of conflict. There may be some type of back and forth between you and this person. But I feel like ultimately, you're going to be choosing to do what is best for you. You're going to be choosing to do something that is going to make you happy. And it's like you are removing yourself from this toxic energy. So let's get one more message. Yeah, because you no longer want to give or invest in the situation. It's just like you're not getting what you want. And I feel like you have invested a lot. You've already invested time and I heard money. So for some of you, you've already invested money into the situation and it's like things are still not working out. You feel like something's off. So you're just going to remove yourself and go into a new direction. I heard originality, blaze your own trail. So yes, for some of you, you may be thinking about um, going into business, you know, by yourself, doing something that it's going to help you find the success that you want. Being original, yes. Blaze your own trail. It's like you're creating a new path for yourself. Deciding to do something different. Something that is going to give you the fulfillment that you want. So those are your messages, Leo. I hope that you have a blessed and prosperous week. Hello, Aries. So we're going to pull some weekly messages for you. We're going to see what spirit has. What can you expect? 
for this week. So Spirit, give me a message for Aries. I have the Hermit in the reverse. Let's get some more messages. I have the devil. And I have the world in the reverse. I feel like for some of you, you're not listening to your intuition. You're not really trusting yourself when it comes to a situation. I feel like this has to do with the relationship. You're connected to someone who is toxic. And this person is showing you or will be showing you certain behaviors that is going to send off some red flags. But you may be ignoring the red flags. And... I feel that in the end, you're going to end up in a situation where you are disappointed because you're not going to get the new beginning that you want with this person. I have the page of Pentacles in the reverse. I have the lovers and I have the emperor in the reverse. So yes, it's like this person is pretending to be something that they're not. With this emperor in the, in the reverse, it's like this person could be very controlling. I heard abusive, so they could have some abusive tendencies. With this hermit in the devil, you could be involved with an earth sign, either a Virgo, um, a Capricorn, or a Gemini with the lovers, but Definitely, this person is not someone who you are going to be able to build a healthy relationship with because this person is in a very toxic energy. And you're not going to get the new beginning that you want. Yes, because for some of you, this is a brand new relationship. And it's like you're starting to see things not work out the way that you wanted them to, despite the fact that you had hope that this person was going to be someone you could build with. But with this emperor in the reverse, it's like, no, they're not. They are in a very selfish energy. And they're just not someone who you would want to be with romantically. This person has some very toxic ways. And I just get abusive, like this person is abusive. So I don't know if they've shown you signs, if they have been saying things here and there to try to really lower your self-esteem. But it's like as this relationship progresses, you're going to start seeing signs. And I feel that eventually you're going to end up walking away because you're going to realize that this person is not who you need in your life. So let's pull one more message. Yeah, they're in a very toxic energy. And it's like they are pretending, like they're pretending to be someone they're not. Because I'm just looking at the devil and the lovers and they're right underneath each other. Like the devil, the lovers is underneath this devil energy and with the lovers, I feel like they're presenting themselves to be someone who's very loving and caring and nurturing, but they actually are not. They're going to try to control you. They're very controlling. So yes, in the beginning, they may come off one way when they're actually another way. This person has control issues and could possibly be abusive. So yes, this is not going to be a healthy cycle for you. And some of you may be finding out this week that this person does have control is issues and that they're not someone who you need to be with. And I heard walking away, so you may be walking away from this relationship. But it's like you you need to listen to yourself. Spirit says like you need to go within and really do some reflection because the signs are there. If you just really take a step back and look at the situation for what it is, the signs are there. I have opportunity knocks. Go for it. I feel like for some of you, this is the opportunity for you to get away from this person. 
I heard new relationships. So yes, it's the opportunity for you to get away from this individual, to have a new relationship, a new beginning in your life, to be in something that is truly going to be healthy and give you what you want. So it's like, yes, the opportunity is now, like the door is open for you to walk away and leave this connection because this person is very toxic. It is going to be very unhealthy for you and you just need to walk through this door while it's open and don't look back. So those are your messages, Aries. I hope they resonate. I hope that everyone has a safe and blessed week. Hello, Sagittarius. So this week we are going to look at what messages Spirit has for you, what guidance Spirit has. So Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Okay. I have the Magician. I have the Two of Cups in the reverse. So let's get some more messages. I have the Moon in the reverse. And I have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like for some of you, you tried to have um, a new relationship in your life. Like you tried to manifest love. And I feel that you did end up meeting someone. But it's like this person isn't able to give you what you want. It's like with this Knight of Pentacles, they really took their time in this relationship. And there was a reason why they were being very slowful about giving you the commitment that you were asking for. And I feel that with this moon card in the reverse, like this week, you might find out the reason why they weren't ready for a relationship with you. Like they were not ready to be serious. Because you tried, you wanted to be with this person, you tried to manifest this relationship manifest this connection but it's like as much as you try there was always something working against you so whatever you find out this week i feel like you're going to be walking away from this person yeah i have the queen of swords you're going to cut this person out of your life judgment in the reverse you're not going to get what you want out of this situation you might find out that this person is already involved with someone else and that is why they've been taking their time laxy dazel you know not really trying to be serious about committing to you and then i have the queen of wands yeah like this relationship isn't going anywhere they're playing games they're involved with someone else and this week you're going to find out about it and that it's going to bring an ending to this connection. So let's get one more message. children know that your children are protected i feel like for some of you children this person may have a child with someone else or they may have someone else pregnant and that is why they're not able to fully invest into this relationship and then i have battle of the blues taking steps towards positive change i feel like you are going to be releasing this person but you know of course you're going to be heartbroken regarding what you're going to find out when it comes to this person being with someone else or possibly having someone else pregnant. So this is definitely going to be a difficult week for you in terms of your emotional state. But just remember to remain positive and remember that everything happens for a reason. And if God brought you to it, he will bring you through it. So have a blessed week, Sagittarius. Hello, water signs. Yes, we are moving on to the water signs. First, we are starting out with Pisces. So hello, Pisces. We're going to see what messages Spirit has for you this week.
Spirit. Give me some messages for Pisces. I have the Four of Cups in the reverse. I have the Page of Cups in the reverse. I have the Nine of Wands in the reverse and I have Strength in the reverse. I just heard like they're serious about you. So for this week, Pisces, there may be someone who is coming in to make some kind of offer this week. I feel like this person is getting serious about you. You may have distanced yourself from this person and it's like they're finally realizing that, you know, they need to kind of put some action into um, this situation because they know that eventually you are going to end up walking away completely. Like they have a fear of losing you. So they're going to try to make some type of offer this week. And I feel like with this um, nine of swords in the reverse, I feel like you have been completely open with this person. And that you are open to being in a relationship with them. But you might not be confident because of what has taken place in the past between you and this person that you're connected to. It's like in the past, I don't feel like they've been serious about this relationship. But I feel like this week, they are going to try to come forward and make you some type of offer. Yeah, I have the King of Pentacles. Yes, this person is stepping up their game this week, Pisces. So they're definitely going to be coming forward and giving you some type of offer in terms of a relationship. So let's get one more message. I have intuition, trust your intuition. So yes, like trust your intuition, trust what you feel when it comes to this situation. When this person comes forward and make you an offer, it's like you already know what to do. Like as soon as they make the offer, you're already going to have a feeling within you that's going to tell you whether or not to accept it or, you know, if you should just continue moving on with your life. So yes, trust yourself. Trust what you feel. Trust spirit. You are being divinely guided when it comes to this connection. So I hope that these messages will resonate. I hope that you have a safe and blessed week, Pisces. Hello, Cancer. So this week, I'm going to pull some messages for you and see what guidance spirit wants to give. Okay, I have temperance, I have the eight of wands in the reverse, and I have the six of wands in the reverse. So Cancer, like this week, things may be moving very slowly for you when it comes to a situation. I heard work, so this could be work related, but Spirit wants you to have patience. Like everything is going to work out, but in divine timing, you are going to get the success that you want. But you just have to wait. Like things are not going to happen for you this week. So let's get some more messages. I have the devil. I have the tower. I have the eight of cups in the reverse. I have the eight of wands and I have the king of swords. I feel that there is someone around you who is not in a very healthy energy like they may be being dishonest about a situation. 
and I feel like whatever this is for you, I really do feel like this is work for a lot of you. There's going to be an unexpected ending, like an, un an unexpected change. They may end up firing this person. I feel like for some of you, you may have been having some difficulties at your job with someone and they may end up firing this person and keeping you because I feel like there's going to be something that's going to take place this week and it is going to create an ending. And of course, the roles could be reversed. Um, they may end up letting you go this week and keeping this person because of their deceptive ways. And it's like they won't stop at nothing to get ahead. But whether this is you or the other person, it's like you do have a new offer coming in, a new opportunity coming in for you. And it's like with this King of Swords, you are, might be moving, removing yourself from a situation that is very unhealthy for others of you. I feel like I heard relationships. So for some of you, you may be ending a relationship this week with someone who is toxic. You know, you're going to be cutting this person out of your life because you no longer see the value in being in a connection with them. And then I also have the Eight of Pentacles. I have the chariot in the reverse. This is your energy, Cancer. And I have the wheel of fortune. So, yes, I feel like for others of you, when it comes to this relationship, you have been putting in a lot of effort, a lot of energy, but you're still not seeing the progress that you want. And you're going to be releasing yourself from this situation in order to have a new beginning with this wheel of fortune. So, let's get one more message. Cheer up, live life in the moment. So yes, like for those of you who are going to be ending a connection this week, it's like spirit just wants you to cheer up, to be happy. Like this is not an ending. This is a new beginning. And then I have celebration, let go and have fun. So I feel like for others of you, you are going to be celebrating this week. I feel like you do have success coming in, but it is going to be slow. And there is someone at your job that is very toxic. So this person may end up getting fired this week. And they may end up keeping you or you may end up staying at this job because this toxic energy is no longer going to be there. But whether you're going to be the one leaving or this person is going to be the one who is let go, you do have some type of opportunity coming in. And I heard take this person job. So you may end up being offered this person's position once they're let go. So you are going to have a reason to celebrate this week, Cancer. So I hope that these messages resonate and everyone have a safe and blessed week. Hello, Scorpio. So this week we are going to be pulling some general messages for you and see what guidance spirit has. the nine of swords i have the ten of pentacles i have the ten of cups okay this is beautiful and i have the nine of pentacles i feel like for some of you you're stressing about your finances and you may also be stressing about a relationship 
I feel like for some of you, you may, I just heard singlehood. Like you may have to give up being single to commit to this person. It's like you're going to have to give up something in order to have the fulfillment that you want. And you're stressing about this because you're not sure that you're making the right decision when it comes to the situation. And yes, I have the two of wands. So yes, you're doing a lot of thinking in terms of that, of the direction that you want your life to go in. But it's like you have to realize that you are fully in control. You're in control of what you want. With the world in the reverse, for some of you, I feel that you might be choosing to remain in the Nine of Pentacles and not fully embracing this new cycle that Spirit is trying to offer you. I feel like for some of you, you may be fearful of commitment. You may have a fear of commitment, and that is why... You're unable to move forward with this person. I have the five of wands. This is going to create some type of conflict. You're going to be walking away from a situation or turning down some type of offer that's going to cause a lot of conflict in your life because you're not willing to give this person what they want. It's like you're not ready to completely give up living the single life. That is what I get for some of you. I have the nine of cups in the reverse and I have the ten of swords in the reverse. Yes, you know, you're not ready to give up living a single life. You feel like you're going to have to sacrifice too much for this relationship. That is what I feel like. Or for others of you, this may be the person. You may want fulfillment with this person. You may want stability emotional happiness but this person isn't able to give it to you because they're not ready to give up their singlehood and with like this ten of swords in the reverse like you are going to suffer some type of disappointment this week whether it is due to this situation and this person not making a commitment to you but I feel that this isn't going to be something that is going to be lasting. You are going to be able to come out of this energy of being disappointment and feeling a sense of betrayal. So let's get one more message. Yeah, because you, you're not ready or this person isn't ready to commit. And you already um, may have been going back and forth, arguing about this. But I feel that ultimately, either you or the other person, or maybe both of you, are going to decide to walk away from this relationship. I have I will follow your intuition. So yes, listen to yourself when it comes to the situation. Don't try to force anything. Whatever is meant for you is meant for you. You don't have to force someone to be with you. You don't have to force anyone to love you. You know, know your worth, know your value, and the right person will come at the right time. So these are your messages, Scorpio. I hope that everyone have a safe, blessed, and prosperous week. Goodbye.